what is everyone welcome back to the channel my name is Iga this is the video that I want to show you guys on how to do a trap hip-hop beat I frequently got many questions from individual people out there producers artists and all those kind of people they ask me how to do trap so um, let's get into a video and see what you can find out there so here we are um, I've already prepared something for you so that it can also be easy for you to see Yeah, let's get into it. The first thing that you need to do is to create a melody or you can sample From any individual tracks that you want to do like the way I did right here. I did this melody right there on top um, Yeah Sometimes you can do it like this. You can transpose it into a wave like this. It's similar. And this one is easy because you can um, set your pitch in a way that you want by stretching it here a little like this. You see, now it gives you another vibe that you need. So, um... I just wanted to show you an example another thing that you might add if you are done with your melody so now you can feel that the beat needs um, the kicks and the hi-hats and all that like this you see I added a secondary hi-hat and then I added a vox on top of it so that it can support the person when it plays like this this one if you get my idea this one and do this one whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's like i'm dreaming check this out after adding your drum pattern like this then you're gonna have to add secondary hi-hat and then you're gonna add your vox so this is the first hi-hat actually that you need It's up to you how you do it. You can also add a lot of things like uh, this. Ooh, I wonder. So it's up to you how you do it. Um, just add, add, add. Here you have to be creative. So I didn't become creative enough because I wanted to show you as quickly as I can. And then after adding your hi hat like this, um, you add. Okay, let's play everything together so that you can see. And then you can set your 808. But before we start with the 808, I want to show you something quickly. It's not something that is difficult. You go into your mixer like this. And then uh, you add bass boost so that it can boost your bass. And then... Uh, for 808s, it's something like this that makes it more raw and stuff. Maybe your 808 is there. You see when it doesn't have these things, it's just not that punchy. But when you add bass boost like this, it goes. And then there's something that hides itself that it doesn't want to keep out from the speakers. Something like this. That little bit of distortion you need into your bass line so that it can be more raw and stuff and then i added brass and brass is for adding a feel for the beat like if maybe you want it to be soft it's obviously you are going to add something that is soft like rnp type but this one is for rapping and raw type so that's why i added brass so if you get my idea if maybe you wanted to add jazz you were going to add maybe um some sort of a saxophone trumpet but this one is just brass to create that hardcore impression like this and then lastly i added a synth 
that I prefer the most when doing my beats. Um, this one creates an impression that the beat now is far from the beginning. Maybe it's on second verse, third verse. No, you know, it gives you that thing that now we are far from the beginning, if you get my idea, but it's something like this. And then lastly, check this automation clip. So check this out. This one creates a vibe for any rapper to start. If maybe you want to put your rapper for the verse, you get an idea. This is what you have to add. And then you have to close one sound. Maybe for example like this. Checking the beat. Yeah, be the beat. Uh, when I'm back at the beat, the beat, the beat, the beat, <laughs> you know what it is so that's how you do a trap beat um i hope i'll see you in another video and don't forget to check the behind beat compositions videos that are so great you know how we do it you know how we roll thank you so much for watching and i hope i'll see you in the next one peace